So I want to say a big thanks to the team at Flight Test. Um, they've got an excellent scratch build for a tricopter um, on their site. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I'll put the link down below, but um, it, it probably saved me many hours in creating this thing um, because they were so detailed in their build. So I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, that's Josh, Josh, David, and the rest of the team. I've watched so many video of your videos, I feel like I've known you personally. But yeah, thanks a lot for that, appreciate that. So here's the tricopter, and I'll go through the details of it real quick. You've got the flight control board there, you've got the receiver, um, the receiver for the transmitter. You've got the 20 amp Skywalker 20 amp ESCs uh, hobby wing. Then you've got the um, the servo attached to this mechanism with the motor, which is really excellent. Um, so you can see how it turns like that. Servo turns it, which yeah, is pretty amazing. Then you got um, yeah, again you've got a, another ESC there attached to a motor. That one doesn't turn. Um, another ESC attached to a motor, so that these ones just rotate. That's all. And at the bottom, I've got a, I've got an LED um, strip there, um, partly to make it look sexy, partly to know which direction it is. Um, that that LED strip, compared with the, um, combined with the foam head that I created for it, helped me know the direction when it's like 200 meters up, and it's hard to know the direction of it. I've got connected this LED strip to a uh, variable resistor, so you can adjust the brightness of the LED, which is pretty useful. Um, there's my battery pack there, which is a 14.4 volt, um, 50, 50C, um, I think it's 3000 mAh um, battery. And um, over here, I've got the, so I didn't want to buy a separate camera um, to put on onto the, um, onto the tricopter. I couldn't, I'd love a GoPro, but can't quite afford it. So um, I actually put my iPhone on it, so I stuck my, you know, I got this case and I carved out the case and then, um, you know, obviously adjusted it um, so that I can stick my uh, I can stick my iPhone on the front. And what I also put on there was um, this lens. So I'm currently, this iPhone lens, so I'm currently using the wide angle for this iPhone lens. So I'll take it off and you'll see the difference. You see, so it, it it's this lens and it gives a lot, um, a pretty good wide angle. So there's actually a fisheye a wide angle and if you unscrew the wide, uh, unscrew the wide angle and screw it on the other way it's like a nano lens for really close up so um, yeah if you want to kind of save money and you're brave enough to stick your iPhone on your tricopter go for it <laughs> but um, so I'll just show you the difference I actually used this one the fisheye for most of my recording when the um, when the iPhone was attached to um, the tricopter so I'll show you the difference so that's normal this is wide angle so you can see how it's a lot wider there. And then this is fisheye, which is wider still, which is really, um, which is what I use, which is really brilliant. Highly recommended, yeah. And um, then I put, yeah, and then this was, this was the foam head that I created to stick on the top. So it just, it just sticks on the top like that. And I've got Velcro on the bottom of this, so, um, and, and on the top there. So I can just stick it on, and then when I want to pull it off, I can just pull it off. And yeah, so but really, you really need this to show direction. Um, so when it's high up in the air. Also, I put these foam legs. I mean, I've seen people cut out um, parts of pipe, so it's like circular. That can work as well. Um, but I just put, you know, basically it's a stick with a piece of um, polyester, you know, well foam attached to the bottom of it. So when it lands, it's um, it cushions the land a little bit. So I also want to show you that these le front legs can just fold in, so they fold in like this, so that they're all, you know, that they're all facing back, and that's excellent um, for when you're transporting it, so it makes it a lot more compact. So that's a great design about this, um, the flight test scratch build as well. Here are some pictures so you can see it in detail.